I feel like we have a lot of final touches to uh, put on. Um, we're feeling good though. We're, we've definitely, um, we've come a very long way, um, you know, trying to integrate um, people into kind of some different positions, new positions. Um, we've had a lot of kind of people in and out. And, and so it's been a little bit of a slow process of, of getting everybody together and uh, to where we're really, really moving forward. And I feel like the last couple of weeks, we've taken some real significant strides in um, kind of our, our chemistry, our rotations, uh, our systems, both offensively and defensively. But I'm really, really pleased and excited about where we are. And um, I know they're ready to play and they're anxious. Um, I still feel like we have um, definitely some, some finishing touches to put on. You know, we're, uh, we are who we are. Um, we typically, you know, we play a lot of man-to-man, -man, so we've been working on those principles. Um, but, you know, we continue to tweak things and make things better. Um, we always want to transition offensively. Um, you know, but again, some of our, some of the numbers, some of the things we've been dealing with um, have, have caused us to have to tweak a few things, which I'm sure everybody in the country right now is having to tweak some things just because of the uh, craziness and a little bit of the chaos of this year. Um, I definitely think we're going to be a work in progress. I think the team that we start out at the beginning of the year will be very different from what we see at the end of the year because we're just going to continue to evolve and grow. Yeah, I've, that's probably one thing I'm, I'm most excited about is, is just the way this group has, um, has bonded together. The, um, you know, we, we've talked from day one that, that we're on this grand adventure together and there's going to be some ups and downs. And, and we all know this year is, gonna, is just, we don't know what to expect. And I'm so proud of this group for the resiliency that we've shown, the, um, you know, the stick to it stick-to-itiveness, if you will, of just, hey, whatever happens, we're going we're gonna to bounce back. We're going to respond. We're not going to get too high or too low. We're just going to stay steady on what we're doing. Um, I think Jasmine Jones has been a tremendous leader um, in all uh, facets. Um, and, and honestly, I really think we're a lot of leadership by committee. We've got a lot of different people stepping up, um, saying what needs to be said, holding each other accountable. Um, so I, I think for the the uh, for where we are right now, I think this chemistry and um, this team's uh, fight and this team's togetherness is is at a really really high point, and I'm really really excited about that. Man, there's so many players that I'm excited about. Um, I think I think our player I think our fans are going to be really. Um, impressed when they see how some of our returning players have returned. I mean, I look at Kari Clark as one um, completely different player than she was as a freshman, just really worked her butt off over the break and, and while she was at home and has really just added so much to her game. Um, you know, Jasmine is so solid. CeCe Ellington had a great freshman year, um, is, is looking, you know, looking good. Our, our freshman uh, Nicole Rodriguez, I think, is um, is probably the the greatest um, surprise as far as just her maturity, her mindset, her work ethic, um, and her leadership uh, skills. So, um, again, I could go through every single player and just say how excited I am about the the improvements they've made. Well, I, I think, um, gosh, there's so much this team has we've gone through from the spring. I mean, I, I think I'm going to touch on some of the off-court things that this team has, has stood up for. Um, this team and our program, you know, made some significant statements and are 100% are committed to just the racial equality. And um, our team has been, you know, again, I know I'm biased, but have been really leading the charge here at LMU as far as taking a stand, making statements, and, and doing things that show our commitment. So that's, to me, the most, you know, what I'm so proud of is that we're, we're standing, you know, we're here to play basketball, but we're also understanding the platform that we've been given and the opportunity to speak, and our team has, has risen to that challenge and I think are leading in that way. Um, on the court, I just think, again, they have been so resilient in battling 
the, the uncontrollables. There have been so many, and there will continue to be so many uncontrollables that happen um, over the course of this year. And how they've managed to just, okay, next, all right, what's next? Okay, this is coming, okay, we gotta deal with that. All right, we gotta pivot, we gotta change directions. And they've been more than willing and eager, you know, and we talked from the beginning, hey, what are some things that you all need to do? If we're gonna make this a successful, enjoyable season, what do you have to do? We gotta come in with a great attitude every day. Yes, absolutely. We have had great attitudes, our work ethic has been great, and we've just stayed steady despite the fact you know someone's in someone's out you know something this happened that happened okay 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 so i'm just really proud of their resiliency and and their commitment to each other to this program and and to making this year a special year that's our goal let's make this a special memorable year and in the process in the meantime we're going to stand up we're going to speak we're going to do what's right and we're going to try to make a difference I think you, 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 you better watch out for Jasmine and you better watch out for CeCe. Um, but I think you're going to have a lot of surprises in there. Um, I think uh, Megan has, you know, is, I, I could literally go through every single player. Megan, Nicole, um, Natalia. I haven't mentioned Natalia. Natalia is um, our kid from Poland who's coming back from an ACL injury is really going to be a special player. She's trying to get some of the cobwebs out right now, but she's going to be really, really special. Um, so again, I think I've listed a ton of people. We've got some that are, you know, still kind of nursing some injuries and, and uh, dealing with some, some challenges right now. But I think when you see us all together, I, I say it again, we're not the team right now in November that we're going to be January, February. And that's what's exciting to me is, is we're going to keep growing, keep adding pieces and keep just getting better. Yeah. Jasmine is just a competitor. You know, she just wants to win. And, um, she brings that energy daily and just just wants to compete. And so night in, night out, you know, she's fighting. And she that, that has carried down and trickled down to everybody else because of her passion and excitement. Um, you know, I think it's really been challenging for seniors this year to kind of know what, what is this year going to look like. And she has been um, just steady and... Um, just has fought and I'm just, I'm, I think she's gonna have a great year and um, you know, the, the good news is that uh, this year is just an extra year and everybody gets to play and um, you know, this, this isn't gonna be uh, Jasmine's final senior season is, you know, that's the plan anyway. Oh my gosh, that's probably been the most challenging thing. You talk to any coach out there um, and I'm sure men's basketball is the same. Scheduling, everything that we were doing, it was just, tossed aside and basically it's start over. Um, so it, it's been a work in progress. It's been, you know, I thought I was done two weeks ago and then I, you know, finished up last week and I think we're finally situated. Um, obviously starting at USC, it's a great Pac-12 opponent, a great opportunity to just kind of see where we are, um, you know, have some returns um, uh, with uh, Irvine coming here, going to Grand Canyon and then finishing up at a, a tournament um, hosted by UNLV. So not sure who we're playing in that tournament yet. That's kind of still figure, getting figured out. But, um, you know, everything particularly about this year is really gearing up to conference play more than probably any other year. Um, because, you know, I know we'd already be playing games if things were, were normal. Um, but we're going we're gonna to take every game we can play and we're just going to compete and, and try to have some fun and just get better and prepare for what we know is going to be a, a tremendously challenging and competitive conference. Yeah, uh, again, this conference is so tough in year in and year out. Um, one of the, you know, one of the best, if not the best, mid-major conference in the country. Um, Gonzaga is always, uh, you know, the, the, where we're all trying to be right now. Um, but it's, it's top to bottom. It's going to be great. It's going to be competitive. Um, we're going to have to fight, and we're going to need every single body um, and person ready to go. You can't take a night off. Um, anybody can beat anybody, and, um, you know, we're just hoping. I, I think the greatest challenge is keeping everybody healthy and, you know, really focusing on um, staying within our own little bubbles individually 
um, so that, that we ha can have a successful season. I just continue to say that, you know, I'm so proud of, of our team up to this point. They have been so resilient, so um, focused on the task at hand. Um, you know, despite the challenges of COVID, despite the challenges of starting on the outdoor courts, we're still wearing masks in practice. Um, there's just been so many roadblocks, um, and, and yet we continue to come out, and we're not, there's no excuses. You know, we're not, we're not making excuses for anything. We're going we're gonna to continue to fight regardless of what happens. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very proud of them, and our goal is to make this a tremendous not only successful um, successful season, but a memorable season where, you know, 10 years from now we look back and we say, goodness gracious, do you remember what we did? You know, and, and remember this, remember that, and how we rose to the challenge. And we talk all the time, this is, we're building resiliency right now. The, the muscles, resiliency is, is like lifting weights, you know, and we're getting, these are opportunities. We're looking at every single one of these things that come up as an opportunity to get stronger mentally. That's resiliency. And that has been our challenge and our focus all year.